Oh, to see result don't show. Hmm. You na not go believe what you na go to hear from this video. I go put the police their picture for the for the screen there, but I want play the audio. No na they hear her from that here. I want start from the beginning. No na just pay attention. No na pay attention. Hmm. Uh. Now, nah, now, nah, they want to put on for that small boy head now. Nah. I'm invited by Yobani Sadiq, a.k.a. Spending, a friend of Mubad, on 11 September 2023, to treat the singer at the deceased residence in Lekki. She eventually came on Tuesday, 12 September 2023, and administered three different injections, which are believed to have occasioned the chain the change of reactions that directly resulted in the eventual death of the singer. She is the principal suspect in the death of Mubad. She acknowledged that it was the injections that she administered on the deceased that triggered the reactions which eventually led to Mubad's death. Other expert opinions and witnesses' statements corroborated her admittance. Her actions of administering doses of tetanus toxoid, paracetamol, intravenous, and cetrazone injection, which was also administered intravenous on Mobad at his residence, that's Mobad's residence, on 12 September 2023, immediately triggered the reactions, including vomiting, goosebumps, and convulsion that eventually resulted in the singer's death. This criminal liability is further heightened, granted the evidential fact that as an auxiliary nurse, she's not qualified to administer such medications or function as a qualified nurse. She also did this in a non-clinical environment and in a professionally negligent manner that negated standard medical protocols. Two, Mr. Yoba Mr. Sodik, aka Spending. Sodik is a friend to Mubad, who invited the auxiliary nurse to treat the disease. He's been suspected of conspiracy in the death of the singer. His action in inviting a person known to him as an auxiliary nurse to attend to the disease under a non-clinical setting occasioned Mobad's death. He's being held for conspiracy to commit felony. Ibrahim Oluwatosin Owodoni, aka Pride Boy, is a childhood friend of Mobad. He attended the show at the Korodu in Mobad's company on 10 September 2023. At the end of the show, Mobad and Ibrahim were engaged in a violent fight during which Mobad was injured. The management of the injury subsequently resulted in his death. So he's been treated as a suspect. Samson Balogun, a little, aka Sam Larry, is a suspect who was arrested on allegation of a uh, having uh, been complicit in the death, as well as uh, in relation to the videos that have gone viral about bullying and assaults, which in some quarters we believe perhaps had any link with his eventual death. He was arrested, he's still in detention. Abdulaziz Fashola, aka Nairamadi, was also arrested and is still currently uh, in detention for similar allegations. He was arrested, he stayed in detention. Abdulaziz Fashola, aka Nairamadi, was also arrested and is still currently uh, in detention for similar allegations. Five suspects have so actions that have been undertaken by the special investigation team include exhumation, autopsy, and toxicology tests, which were undertaken on 21st September. 2023. The results of the autopsy and the toxicology tests 
Abina Ruiz. Rahim Oluwatosin Owodoni, aka Cry Boy. He's a childhood friend of Mobak. He attended the show at Ikorodu in Mobak's company on 10 September 2023. At the end of the show, Mobad and Ibrahim were engaged in a violent fight during which Mobad was injured. The management of the injury subsequently resulted in his death. So he's being treated as a suspect. Hmm. Ibrahim Oluwatosin Owodoni, aka Samson Balogun Elitu, aka Sandari, is a suspect who was arrested on allegation of uh, having uh, been complicit in the death, as well as uh, in relation to the videos that have gone by right about bullying and assaults, which is important, we believe, perhaps had any link with his eventual death. He was arrested, he's still in detention. Abdulaziz Fashola, aka Naramadi, was also arrested and still currently uh, in detention for similar allegations. Absent Balogun, a little aka. Many of the witnesses earlier listed, of the 26 witnesses, many of them alleged that this deceased was indeed bullied and assaulted several times by Naramani and Samlari <coughs> and their gangs. It was affirmed that sometime in 2019, the deceased was allegedly signed by Naramali into a record label known as Malian News Limited. Due to disagreements in terms of the contract, the deceased pressed for the revocation of his contractual relationship with Malian News, while also pushing to relieve his then manager, who was a brother to Naramali. It was alleged that this moves hide the suspects who in consequence allegedly severally conspired, bullied and assaulted. Hmm. It was also asserted by some witnesses with corroborative video evidence that before his demands, Mobad had raised alarm that his life was being threatened, that he was being bullied and assaulted by Naramadi and Sangari. Upon the arrest, Abdulaziz Abdeshin of Fashion of Naramani and Samson Elekolami Balogun Sangari denied allegations of complicity in the death of Mubad by pleading an alibi that they were both out of the country when the incident occurred and they were not in any manner involved in the chain of events that occasions his eventual death between tents to 12 September 2023. However, there are preponderance of evidence linking both Naramani and Samlari to the allegations of threat to life, cyber stalking, and sundry crimes committed against Mubad in his lifetime, and they are being so held liable. Interim investigation, external findings, sorry. From the investigation so far conducted, it has been established as follows. One, the chain of events that directly and specifically led to the death of Ideli Oduwala Dimiji and Obad, aka Obad, occurred between 10th to 13th September 2023, and the location of Isin stretched over Ikorudu and Leki, Lagos. Many of the witnesses earlier listed of the institution. My people, when I don't hear them, hey, hey, oh, what do you go? How true are these things? How now see the matter? How now see my people? How now see the autopsy result? How now see the quad nose? How now see the whole thing? How it takes sound for now here? To be honest, my people, I say a lot of comments. A lot of controversy on the comment section on Lindai Keji's blog. Okay, what happened to the no? Uh, how how uh, did okay? Let's see if we can read some comments before I leave. The comments are just something else. The comment on the, se on the sessions. The comments are just too much. 
what uh, this one is asking what about the dna then another one say why are they trying to push the death on this nurse okay why are they still assuming what killed him if autopsy was done then the autopsy should say this all the autopsy should say exactly if it is from the injection poison beating etc it was the nurse treating it's a good question okay what kind of what happened to him what exactly was the nurse treating who is who, who inflated the heat on him then another person now asked what was then the need of the autopsy if they are still projecting on what nurse injected on him which is a very good question eh? if the autopsy cannot really say exactly what happened then what of, of what use is the autopsy to start with to be honest then another commenter says some of you are illiterate you can't even listen to the video and understand but read the cash uh, read the cash and stop blaming the nurse is not only the suspect all you know is watch okay watch korea's movie from 24 hours but you can't listen to a few minutes video oh gao mm -hmm, that one said so then another comment another comment and i said why heavens you guys are interviewing naramali and salary since okay then another person now say nothing like auxiliary nurse it is auxiliary quack it is auxiliary quack there is no there is no uh, level in uh, in nursing called auxiliary auxiliary nurse okay there is no nurse level called auxiliary nurse you all are either a registered nurse or not okay that one you are speaking on your own there is a lot of auxiliary and quack nurses in nigeria yes we know of that one then all these uh, all these back and front should